how do you make an NFT collection? It's actually really easy, but at the same time, if you're a beginner and it's your first time doing it, it's gonna take a while. And with this tutorial, I'm just trying to help you guys to set, a, set up and generate an NFT collection. Usually they have 10,000 pieces and there is no way you're gonna achieve 10,000 pieces by drawing them one by one or photoshopping them by one by one. So you need to have a couple of programs uh, luckily, there are two programs that I'm going to use that are online, so you won't need to download anything or pay for anything. So this is step one, guys. This is step one of layering and making uh, the layers for the NFT. And it's really easy. You will need Photoshop, but to be honest, as I already said, there are a couple of programs that are online and you won't have to download anything. And uh, Photopia is one of them. I will list it in the description uh, in the video. And all you have to do is, uh, for the first thing, is go and make a file. So make a new folder. And by the way, I see that my language is Dutch, so I'm going to switch up to English. That's a little bit easier for you guys. Make a new file, and it's usually size 3000 by 3000. NFTs usually do have to be 3000 wide, so that's like the goal to go for it. And by the way, I'm just going to explain it a little faster than I would because yesterday I actually made this video, but it didn't uh, save. So one hour footage, uh, yeah, it disappeared. So I'm going to do a little bit faster tutorial, but it's still going to be a pretty, uh, pretty good for you guys to see how, how to do uh, the layering of the NFTs and how to change the colors, how to do new items in there. So usually I would go for a background because white is not that good and a lot of pictures you will have to uh, cut out. So I'll probably do like a red background, which is uh, pretty visible, everything you put on there. Because I already actually made the video yesterday, I still have a file with, the, with everything cut out and uh, already uh, layered. So I'll just go ahead and close uh, this one that I made. I just made it to show you the size uh, of it. And I'll just uh, put the file from yesterday uh, in there. And by the way, I just totally random selected Vladimir Putin, the president of Russia, for this video. Just to make uh, Vladimir Putin NFTs. And uh, as you can see, I have a lot of layers for hair. I didn't use the hair actually. But it's funny, facial hair. <laughs> and uh, it's, it's a lot. You have to put really, uh, if you're a beginner, it will take you some time to make the layers. And uh, it will also take you some time to uh, just uh, put them in the good folders. You can go ahead and choose like Kim Jong-un or something like that. I'm, I'm not sure which NFT you want, but choose a picture, at least a form which you can copy uh, into your NFT because making your own, uh, your own forms is pretty hard. But if you have a basic form, like for example, Vladimir Putin that I took, it's, it already has a form, it already has a code, it already has... Uh, yeah, everything you actually need for the NFTs. So the first thing I recommend you guys to do is actually cut out the layers. So for example, uh, probably you will take a picture which is not transparent. You can look for transparent pictures on Google and usually you will be able to find one, but it's not for everything. So you have to cut it out. With this tool, you can actually cut it out and there are two options. You can uh, cut out the surroundings. And I'm actually not going to do it because I already have it done. So there is no, no, yeah, I won't uh, need to cut it out because it's already done. But you have to cut out the background uh, away, basically. So, for example, my Vladimir Putin is already cut out and ready to go. And then after that, you will be able. And by the way, you have to select the layer you're working with. Otherwise, it's not going to nothing's going to happen. But basically, you have to cut them out single piece by single piece. So you have to, for example, uh, as you can see, I have multiple layers. And one of those layers is his head, his jacket, his shirt, everything. You can think about the facial hair. You can think about sunglasses, about headwear, a lot of things about the pins on his jacket. And if you're going for like a 10,000 NFT collection, you will have to have a lot of options because you, you simply can't make an NFT collection from 10, 000, of 10,000 pieces uh, by having like four backgrounds or four hats. So that's, that's just not going to work. 
But if you're going for a small one, yeah, that's definitely possible. Uh, with mine, I actually went for like 24, something between 20 and 25 uh, or 24 backgrounds. And I just went all crazy, changed colors and everything. So as you can see, I have his head here and uh, his jacket. You, you just have to cut, uh, cut out every single layer. Which doesn't take that many time. By the way, I did his uh, jacket in one piece. Uh, it wasn't. It was separated by uh, his shirt, so I actually had to cut out the left side and then the right side. Uh, it depends on what you're doing, but maybe you need to do it. I did it in one layer because uh, it's actually uh, yeah. I'm not gonna do like the left side red and the right side uh, blue or something like that. And by the way, it's really important to have uh, the layers in uh, uh, from the from beneath to the top because uh, basically the layer uh, the layer down uh, down in the bottom of the of the group is the layer that is the first one. So basically, the background. And why I'm saying this is because in the next program, the generator, it will be important to remember this part because it's a little bit different. So you have to cut out everything. And as I said, this is a fast tutorial. I'm not going to show everything. If you want a really deep tutorial on Photoshop, it's better to like find some professional on YouTube and uh, because that's going to take some time, but it's not that difficult. Basically, if you cut everything out, you're already pretty much there. Uh, you also have to save every single thing. And by the way, saving it, you need to do it in transparent. I'll show it in a, in a bit. As you can see, you can if you double click on the layer, you can choose things, for example, a stroke and you can choose color overlay and things like that. I usually use color overlay because it's looking funny or uh, this too. And as you can see, I used 30% uh, transparency because you can do 100, but that's yeah, <laughs> that's not it. You can do uh, 60, 70, 80, but I really went for I think 40 or 30 um, so I, you can actually make make a lot of uh, different uh, hats for example or shirts or things like that so that's pretty much uh, what I was doing and what you guys will need to do and by the way there are also a couple of different programs that you can do this in uh, different Photoshop programs you have also Fox edit which you can use to make 3d program or uh, 3d designs and 3d characters but it's up to you which one you're going to use. I'm just showing Photoshop, so basically Photopia Online. That's Photoshop, free Photoshop Online. But you can actually use uh, different uh, ones. So as you can see, Fox Editor, and you can download it on the Sandbox. It's actually free. You don't have to pay anything. Don't have to uh, make an account or anything. So it's uh, really easy. So in Photoshop program, pretty much uh, all you have to know is how to cut things out and how to change the color or add something and pretty much that's it you do need to have everything saved so for example i'm showing you the backgrounds i you i think like 24 25 backgrounds that i will have to save and as you can see uh, yeah the more the more you have the better the more chances the more uh, you can change the rarity of the background or anything else and as you can see like shirts headwear anything you can think of his head and by the way sometimes you have files like this it will show like it's uh, corrupted or anything like it's error but it's not if you click on it so don't worry about that so after the, after you're done with uh, cutting things out from your uh, main uh, character and things like that just go ahead and save it as transparent so no background guys no bullshit uh, just transparent on the same spot don't move anything because it's gonna mess it up and as you can see, just, just delete the background or just make it invisible with the eye uh, icon in uh, Photopia or Photoshop or the program you're using. And just go ahead and save it. And you have to, you have to be uh, organized. Make uh, new folders, put it in there because uh, that's going to save you some time. So after you're done with the Photoshop thing and layering everything and saving every single layer, you're going to raremints.club. Uh, make an account, it's free, it's not going to send you any like ads or anything or emails. Uh, but make an account and go to your projects. By the way, you can also view other projects, which is pretty cool. And you can get some ideas 
uh, on this side go to your programs i'm not sure which one is mine the left one uh, both are actually mine but not sure which one is the correct one just gonna go for the right one and uh, make one group don't make more groups please because that's gonna just waste your time you have to do it all over again because you can actually choose how many you want from one group to another to another and that's that's not the the way to go and as you can see and by the way what i said was important from the photoshop part you will have to do it differently because in photoshop it's from the bottom to the top uh, so the bottom is uh, background then comes his head for example you have to think about that really really well uh, which comes first because uh, you you can't basically put like his head on top of sunglasses or something like that so it's from the bottom to the top in photoshop by but by rare minds uh, that club it's from the top to the bottom so the top will be backgrounds and as you can see in the video right now you you just can't have the head uh, beneath the jacket for example because it won't look good and your nft will be ruined uh, so just from the top to the bottom you have to think about it and stack which layer you want on top which layer you want uh, down and and you have to upload them one by one so basically i'm not going to show how to show you how to upload them because that's just dragging you're just gonna go into the to the folder with the hats for example and just gonna go ahead and drag it in there and uh, it will uh, take some time to upload probably like a minute or so if it says it's not pinned then it's already uploaded if it says it's pinned uh, then it's still uploading so give the give the site a little bit more time guys because uh, i was uh, really uh, getting uh, angry about it too because as everyone else i wanted to work like the same moment i'm uploading all those files so after you have done everything so basically the layers you uploaded every single layer you looked over it which layer is first which layer is second and etc 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 you can go ahead and uh, actually make it so as you can see uh, by the way it's sometimes it's taking a while to load so you have like sunglasses in the jacket map but it's changing as you can see and if you're done and you're sure everything is good you can go ahead and make so basically go ahead and generate the nfts so let's go to the generate page and pretty much you can choose how many you want so as i said usually nft collections have 10,000 pieces but that's a lot so uh, we're gonna go with 100 pieces because we have that this is a tutorial i already did my uh, nft collection and uh, it's already even on OpenSea. By the way, I'm gonna list it in the description of the video. So if you are looking for an NFT uh, from the Supreme Leader himself, Vladimir Putin, <laughs> you can go ahead and download it on OpenSea. I have some expensive pieces because some pieces are really beautiful. I feel like they're really beautiful. And I mean, they pretty much mean something to me because I created them, but some pieces are really cheap too. So you can go ahead and buy them if you want um as you can see the nft collection is generating so you have like probably like a minute but it all depends on your pc how good is your pc how good is your gpu probably uh it will generate for a minute and then you'll get the nft uh picture you will see all the things going fast and it basically will save to your pc so as you can see this is what i meant it will show you examples and because i have 100 pieces it's yeah it's not that many but if you're making 10,000 pieces, yeah, that's a lot. And it will just download to your, in a zip file, it will download to your PC. You can go ahead and uh, open it, uh, drag it somewhere, copy it, and start uploading it to a website or OpenSea. It's usually OpenSea. This is the, that's the most popular one. And as you can see, I have, it's just randomly generated from all your layers that you created. And yeah, it's pretty cool. Some are pretty cool. Some are, <laughs> I like this one. I think this one is the OpenSea favorite of mine. Um, and uh, it's pretty cool actually, guys. So you can make your own, uh, you can generate your own NFT collection. It's gonna take some time. I don't really recommend doing this if you're just doing it for the money and not like to learn anything or because uh, the NFTs aren't really that, great at making money there are some people that buy that are buying nfts for a lot of money but it you usually have to be lucky 
for that. So you don't expect like, don't expect like making thousands or millions uh, in like one week or I don't know, or maybe even a year or maybe never. You're maybe never getting uh, anything for it. So uh, just be thinking. Uh, yeah, it's you have to be lucky for it just to sell it off, or you have to be popular and have like a lot of followers. That's also an option. By the way, you can go ahead and, uh, as I already said, upload it to the OpenSea site. It's going to take a while because you have to upload every single piece single-handedly. And there is a way to do it differently. I will upload the second video. That's, that will be part two, probably. Or I will probably list it in the description of the video or just in the video itself. Um, on how to upload uh, a lot of NFTs uh, by doing basically nothing. So that will be part two. I hope you guys have a great week or month or year because it's almost 2022. So I wish you a happy new year. And if you're watching in 2022, I mean, I still wish you a happy year. Uh, and uh, this was basically the tutorial for today. And as I said, there will be a part two uh, on uploading. So if you think uploading, uh, because you have to do one by one. So uploading it uh, automatically is pretty good. And there is a little program for it. So we'll just... Uh, uh make a tutorial on that how to upload it because there is no way someone's going to upload like even like 200 nfts uh, by hand because that's going to take like four hours or five hours and you're just gonna drive yourself crazy but this was it for today guys uh thanks for watching and uh bye bye